Hello and welcome to this instructional video on crutch walking. This video will teach you how to adjust the crutches to the proper height as well as how to use the crutches safely. Safety tips. Make sure the crutches have padding at the top of the crutch, at the handle, and on the bottom tip that are in good condition. Your doctor will tell you how much weight you are allowed to put through your injured leg. After adjusting for height, make sure any nuts are tight before using the crutches. Always wear good supportive shoes or bare feet rather than loose slip-on footwear. Avoid wet surfaces. Remove any rugs that are easily moved to prevent slipping. Adjusting height. Adjusting the height is done in standing. Place the tip of the crutch about 10 centimeters or 6 inches out from the side of your toes. At the top there should be 2 to 3 finger space between the crutch and your armpit. The handle is placed at the level of the wrist when the arm is straight down by your side. When you grip the handle, your elbow is slightly bent. When walking, the angle of the crutches should be just enough to allow your hips to pass between them without touching. Do not lean on the top of the crutches, as this can cause your arms to have numbness and tingling. This is a sign of pressure on the nerves. Remember to stand up straight. Walking with crutches. You will be told by your doctor how much weight you are allowed to place through the injured leg. It can vary from no weight or non-weight bearing, partial weight to full weight bearing. Non-weight bearing, this is keeping your injured foot off the ground. To keep your balance, move the injured leg with your body as it moves. Secure the crutches by pressing the top of the crutch into your rib cage so they do not move. Move the bottom tips of the crutches forward like a normal size step. Place the weight through your hands as you hop on the good leg past the crutches. Gain your balance on the good leg, then repeat. Sitting. When going to sit down, stand in front of the chair with the back of your leg touching the chair. Place both crutches in one hand and grab the handles. With the other hand, reach for the armrest or chair. Bend your good leg to slowly lower yourself to the seat. Keep your injured leg off the ground if no weight is allowed through the injured leg standing from sitting. When going to stand up, slide yourself to the front of the chair. Place both crutches in one hand. With the other hand, push off the seat or armrest as you stand on your good leg. Once you are up straight and balanced, move one crutch over to the other arm to start walking. Stair climbing. Using a railing is safer, and if there is someone to help you, they should stand on the step below you. Non-weight bearing with the railing. When going up the stairs, start close to the bottom step. Place both crutches in one hand and grab the rail with the other hand. Keep your injured leg off the ground. Put your weight through your hands and hop onto the first step. Then move the crutch up to the same step, move your hand forward on the railing. Repeat this, always leading with the good leg going up stairs. When going down the stairs, start close to the top step and place both crutches in one hand. Then grab the rail with the other hand. Place the crutch on the step below, putting your weight through your hands and bend your good knee. Step down with your good leg. Gain your balance and repeat always leading with the crutch. Non-weight bearing with no railing. When going up the stairs, 
Start close to the bottom step. Keep your injured leg off the ground. Keep the crutches under both arms. Put your weight through your hands and hop with a good leg onto the first step. Then move the crutches to the same step and gain your balance. Repeat this, always leading with a good leg going up the stairs. When going downstairs, start close to the top step and keep both crutches under both arms. Place the crutches on the middle of the step below, put your weight through your hands and bend your good knee. Step down with your good leg. Gain your balance and repeat, always leading with the crutches. Thank you for joining us and we hope that this has helped you understand how to safely move with your crutches.